Okay, in the part two, we have the CAD system and uh, we proceed with the ExoCAD 3.1 and first of all, we need to load the data from ExoPlan and we loaded uh, the dental project and you import it so easily in the ExoPlan. It says I have some data from the previous design. Uh, we said uh, it's okay, we really need it. And then it asked me for Lurge again, and I will give the exact Lurge that I used before, so uh, I could continue the design. And it's asked me whether I want to do a screw retain or want a custom abutment. And in this case, uh, we are going to do a custom abutment. Uh, we will do the preface abutment, and uh, I'm going to show where is the emergence profile for this implant okay the software uses the previous data I, I brought from exoplan and it includes the teeth the implant position and the relation between the parts uh, but uh, I want to change some features like anatomy and contact and screw access first of all uh, this is one of the secrets that makes uh, this process far easier don't do some uh, special shapes in your uh, custom abutment it should be round and symmetrical why it should be symmetrical because in case that you make some uh, customized formed abutment it should sit exactly the same that you designed but always we know that the surgeons can't do exact same placing that you planned maybe five degrees angle difference between your design and the thread time that the surgeons gives you is complete mess and nothing is usable and Im uh, immediate loading is ruined completely so we use symmetrical round design of course it's not suitable for the final uh, restoration because it has uh, more prone to screw loosening uh, sorry dissementation I prefer to use two abutments one for uh, immediate loading and another for final restoration because of that here we are free to use symmetrical abutment. Okay, and next thing that uh, is so crucial for us is whenever you are going to design a crown for immediate loading, it should be hygienic. It should be friend with the tissues. And it's so important you have flawless uh, transition between abutment and crown and emergence profile is so 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 important in these cases so as you can see uh, I do my best to take care of every piece and here I'm going to reform the crown as you can see in case that I want crown to be off any uh, excursion it's a uh, very very s small crown and the crown is not aesthetically acceptable but it's safe and depend on the uh, surgeon and prosthodontist decision and the patient's need you can do something like this but in case that you are going to uh, have aesthetically pleasant crown you should follow the rules that we are uh, using for a conventional crown and it means that the patient should be very careful 